Welcome to Rational Requisite Pro, Creating Project Requirements. This demo is presented by Randall Powell, a software engineer with the IBM Developer Skills Program. Requisite Pro is a powerful, easy-to-use requirements management tool that helps teams manage project requirements. It promotes communication and collaboration among team members and reduces project risk. The better the communication and management of your requirements, the more likely you are to identify the correct problem and deliver the right solution. And to do that on time and within budget, Requisite Pro helps facilitate that process. Requisite Pro also offers the power of a database and a word processor. Its robust architecture maintains live requirements documents that are dynamically linked to a database for powerful sort and query capabilities. This allows you to easily organize and prioritize your requirements to trace relationships between them and track changes that affect them. Requisite Pro captures the change history for each requirement, thereby providing an audit trail of the evolution of project requirements. Also, Requisite Pro is integrated with other Rational Suite products. All of the products in the Rational Suite family are team unifying tools and include additional role-specific tools to optimize each suite for the individual practitioner. In this demo, you are going to see the flexibility Requisite Pro provides in the creating of project requirements from both within the tool itself and also from the import of information from other types of files. So to get started, let's launch Rational Requisite Pro. For new projects, Requisite Pro provides a variety of templates to get you started quickly. For this demo, we are going to use the traditional template. This template is best suited for organizations that are most accustomed to a traditional requirements approach. Document types include the vision document, glossary, software requirement specification, requirements management plan, and stakeholder request document. The requirement types include feature, glossary item, software requirement, requirements management plan requirements, and stakeholder requests. You may also select from a variety of databases that best meet the needs of the project. So now that you are in your new project requirements view, Let's look at the various ways of creating requirements. One way is to click on the Create Requirement icon. This brings up the Requirement Properties box, which includes the selection on the type of requirements needing to be entered. Also, all of these various properties are assignable to all requirements, regardless of the method of creation. A second method of creating a new requirement is to right-click on a package in the Explorer view, or the area on the left side, then click on New, and then Requirement. This will also bring up the same requirement properties box. Now, let's look at various ways of importing documents into our requirements database tool. Let's first look at importing a CSV file format. As you go through the import process, you may choose from the various options applicable to your circumstance.
Now you can see the sample software requirements that have been imported into the database tool. Now let's import a Word document into our database tool. We'll start with a vision document. You can now see that this Vision Word document has been added to the repository in our Requirements database tool. If you look at the highlighted area in the center of the screen, you can see another method of creating new requirements. Now, we're going to do one additional import of a requirements document. And again, we enter the information and select the options that are specific to our particular project. This again opens up the Word document that is now dynamically linked to our Requisite Pro database. From this Word document, we can now select the textual information that we want to use to create new requirements. We do this by highlighting the text and then clicking on the Create Requirement icon, which you can now see is integrated into our Word document application. For our demo, we'll go ahead and create several more requirements. Now, when we return to the Requisite Pro database view, we can now see the new requirements that we dynamically linked from the Word document into our database repository. To illustrate this dynamic linkage, let's go back into the Word document and make a change to one of our requirements. Instead of having Customer Selects Account, we've added the word there to customer selects account. Depending upon your organization's established process, you also have the capability of documenting the change description and or the justification for the change. Now when we return to the requisite pro view, we see that the word there has been added to the requirement. Let's see how this dynamic linkage works both ways. We'll make a change to a requirement in the requisite pro database view First, we see that the change to the requirement has been updated in the Requisite Pro database view. And, when we open the Word document, we see that the change to the requirement has been updated to that view as well. In this demo, we've shown you just a small portion of the robust and powerful collaborative features contained in the Rational Requisite Pro tool.